the chances of being here on this beautiful planet right now is so low yet we were lucky enough to have received the body and a heart that's beating within us i love to think that there is meaning behind my life but maybe the mere fact of being alive at this very moment is already a good enough reason to be grateful for my existence. After all, what are the chances that you and I are in the same present moment? That makes me feel so special. Eating for me is one of the greatest pleasures in life. It connects us, it creates memories and it's there when no one else is. There's no such thing as right or wrong when it comes to food. There is only food and our perception of it. We are all so unique, so special. There is no one single right way of nourishing our bodies. Just look within and go for what you desire. Eat intuitively. Enjoy food. Your body will guide you through the process. Trust and honor your body. Don't take my videos as a guide by no means. This is just inspiration and spreading my love for eating and for you guys, hoping to connect with some of you along the way. I hope you will enjoy this little video. I'm so grateful you are here. On this particular morning, I made myself some hot water with lemon, ginger, turmeric and black pepper. This is such an amazing way to wake up our metabolism, boost our immune system and help digestion. Not to mention, having a warm cup of tea in the winter is just the perfect start of any day. I'm gonna have oatmeal this morning and I'm also drinking a big glass of water because, well, I haven't had water since I went to bed. I also take a D vitamin and a B12, so don't forget to hydrate, friends. For the oatmeal, I mash the ripe banana in a bowl and blend it around 3-3 three, three teaspoons of chia seeds and flax seeds. I always try to have either or both of these seeds daily since they are rich in nutrients like omega-3 fatty acids, iron, calcium and magnesium. I stewed some frozen berries with cinnamon on the stove for around 3-4 to four minutes until it became this beautiful yummy berry compote. Smells amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna do my oatmeal in the same pot and I'm not gonna wash it out because it's gonna add a little bit of extra flavor. I usually eat around a cup of rolled oats with a cup of plant-based milk, which is usually oat milk. I love to add cinnamon to my oatmeals. They can take this dish to the next level. Once it was creamy and cooked, I stirred my banana mash in. I added the berries to my oatmeal along with some peanut butter and nuts. I really like to start my day with a nice breakfast packed with nutrients. Okay, so let's see. It looks so good. Mm. Mm. The oatmeal with the berries, they go so well together. I'm just gonna have my breakfast in silence because I try to reconnect with myself when I eat lately. I try not to distract myself with videos, things like that, and just really focus on eating. And it's such a different experience. I'll see you guys very soon. This is the time of the week when I'm planning my next week out. I just love planning and really organizing my life because I find that success comes so much easier if everything is in place for success. So here's my whiteboard. I'm planning the days of the week here and then in my textbook I'm figuring out what I'm gonna eat during the week and I'm also figuring out my school things. This is where I actually get to sit down with myself and ask myself what do I want to achieve next week and be realistic about it. And yeah, I'm gonna have my little matcha here, which is an everyday ritual for me. And then I'm gonna study and I need to work out as well. But the past few days I was 
going so hard on myself when it came to workouts that everything sore right now every single muscle is sore i am not gonna lie i have zero motivation to move my body today but i know if i do it i'm gonna feel so grateful so i'll just try to go easy on myself do a long yoga session and probably do some dance workout or something like that that will just cheer me up you don't need to go so hard on yourself every time you work out i think the most important is to release all those good hormones and that could be done even putting on your favorite music and just dancing around in your room so even if you don't want to move just doing anything is better than nothing it's the same as food i am trying to listen to my body what it needs as a fuel but i am also trying to listen to it what it needs as a movement because we are all unique especially women we go through a menstrual cycle and every single period of that is different our energy varies our mood varies so i'm trying to honor that i'm gonna plan out my week and i'll probably see you guys for my workout you got those pretty eyes in your head you know it you got me dancing in my bed so let me show it you are exactly what i want kind of cool and kind of Okay guys, so actually my camera died um, in the end of my workout, but I'm gonna stretch. I actually showered while I was waiting for my camera to charge up. So I'm just gonna do my stretching and then I'm gonna make food. Yeah, we're driving down the freeway at night. I only got one thing in the back of my mind. I'm feeling like this might be my time to shine with you, with you, with you. I got my head out the sunroof. I'm blasting my favorite tunes. For lunch I made myself a nourish ball. I started off by adding a big bunch of mixed leaves to my plate along with half a red onion, some olive oil from the sun-dried tomatoes jar, lemon juice, pepper, salt, oregano, thyme and a lot of basil. I mixed them well and then I cooked up a can of chickpeas. I added curry powder, salt, pepper and some water and let that simmer away for around 3-4 to four minutes. Okay, so I have some radishes, some dried tomatoes, pickled cucumber. I'm gonna cut these. I have some leftover guac from the other day, so I'm gonna top everything with this. Let's assemble things! lunch is ready it looks so divine i'm gonna enjoy this with a few cracker breads like so that's my lunch and i'll see you guys later in a bit okay so i'm feeling snacky and i don't know about you but my favorite combinations are raspberry and chocolate or strawberry and chocolate but i don't have strawberries at the moment so i'm gonna use raspberries and chocolates to create this mousse it's actually pretty easy you just need a blender and a few ingredients and magic happens i added a cup of raspberries half a cup of oat milk a ripe banana one teaspoon of chia seeds five teaspoons of cocoa powder and three teaspoons of agave syrup to the blender I poured it in a glass and let it sit for around 20 minutes in the fridge before I dived right in. I topped it with blueberries, some shaved chocolate and that was it. Uh, da, da, da. 
not so long after that delicious snack I made a really creamy mushroom pasta that I just cannot get enough of. The measurements for this is down in the description box. Pasta dishes are easily one of my favorite foods. And if you would want to share what is your favorite pasta dish, I would be so happy. So I cooked some fusilli pasta, then I sauteed onions and garlic in a pan, along with garlic powder, garlic salt, smoked paprika, some curry powder and pepper. Chopped up some mushrooms and added them to the pan along with carrots. I added a cup of pasta water to it as well as some chopped up olives. You and I making fire, I can take ya. Once everything was nicely cooked through, I mix it with the drained pasta, added vegan cream, some nutritional yeast and plated it up. Away. 